Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for um, Taurus. This is going to be for your May 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with, thinking of. Uh, we're to see what this person's true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Um, apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Taurus people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Also, uh, what else? Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the link for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Taurus. How about Taurus? And why? The person that Taurus is thinking of dealing with, what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Taurus? And uh, keep in mind, you can apply this to new love, an ex, uh, current love, okay? So, uh, let's see. The person that Taurus is dealing with, thinking of, what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Taurus? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Taurus? For May 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. So, you have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay. With the Death card, Scorpio energy. With the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. There was an ending here. I feel like one of the things I feel like this person is not okay with this ending. I do feel like this person does want to step in and talk to you and clear the air. And I feel like this person is looking for higher levels of commitment here with you. I feel like if this person was not on the same page here with you before, this person could be changing their mind. And now they're on the same page here with you. They want to work things out here with you. They want to be with you here. They are falling in love with you or that they are in love with you, okay? So whoever this is, I do feel like this person's definitely coming in to reunite with you. I do feel like there's separation between you and your person here. This person's looking to reconcile here with you, okay? I do see that this reconciliation can be very, very, very successful here because I feel like this person is playing a whole different tune playing uh, and singing a whole different beat here, okay? So I do feel like this person's very serious about wanting to come together here with you, all right? I'm not quite sure what led to the separation here, okay? Uh, but it could be a situation that this person was not ready for it, all right? Tell me the death card. Why is the death card here? The death card and we have the star card. Yeah, someone here is realizing that you are their wish fulfillment, that you are uh, their, you know, a diamond that they found in a bunch of rocks here. And they feel like this person wants to sort of like, you know, this person is realizing that you are a keeper here, okay? Tell me the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me the Ten of Pentacles here. The Ten of Pentacles here and the Eight of Cups. Seems like this person like walked away from the situation here and now I feel like this person's coming back in. And I feel like this person, you know, thought at that time they did, didn't want to be with you. But I, like I said, I feel like this person's changing their mind. You know, I feel like this person is realizing that you are the keeper here, okay? Tell me the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles? Eight, uh, not the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I mean, you could be completely turning ba your back on the situation here, uh, Taurus, uh, because I feel like you, you know, you've you been through it with this person. You know, perhaps this person has come and go multiple times and, you know, they've come to this realization, you know, uh, multiple times and they feel like you've heard it all before. You know, I do feel like this time around, I do feel like it's different. I do feel like this person's really like set, settling for you or that they're set on being with you here. The chariot, cancer energy here and the two of wands. So one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you notice that this person's energies is different. You notice that this person's energies has shifted here. And I feel like you're trying to decide what to do with the situation or what to do with this individual here. What else do we have here for um, Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know? Look out for work on here for May 2024. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. For Taurus. For Taurus. Taurus, we have the Hermit card. Virgo energy. Uh, you're probably distancing yourself from this person, and I feel like you're staying silent for a while. You're trying to figure things out. We have the Six of Wands here with the Moon. So I feel like you're trying to figure out how you feel surrounding the situation. 
perhaps some of you guys could be a little bit confused here, but I feel like, you know, you are pretty clear of what this person has shown you, what the, how this person has treated you here. You know what I mean? So we have the Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And then we have the Four of Pentacles here. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is fearing losing you or, and that they're holding on to you. And I feel like this person's hoping that uh, there will be another chance here. Yeah, there will be another chance here. So I feel like this person is definitely spying on you, just checking in to uh, and checking in to see how you're doing here. But you know that deep down inside, like Taurus, I feel like you just don't trust this person. With the Wheel of Fortune here and the Six of Wands, you could be learning your lessons regarding this person here. And I feel like you could be turning the tables on this person because I feel like you've given this person so many chances and this time you're not giving this person another chance. It, co it could completely shock this person or surprise this person here, uh, Taurus. Tell me the moon. Why is the moon card here? The moon and the sun of wands. I feel like this person is trying to keep their fears from coming true here. And I feel like the, the fears are coming true where I feel like you're leaving this person for good and this person's not going to be okay with that. We have the knight of pentacles here and the three of swords. Oh, this person's, you know, I feel like this person's their feelings are going to hurt, get hurt. Like I said, you're turning the tables on this individual here, okay? Uh, because I feel like this person has hurt your feelings by behaving this way. The Four of Pentacles here and the Six of Swords. So what we have is that I feel like you're moving on from this. I feel like this person has a hard time moving on from you. And I feel like this person does want to come together here with you to be in a relationship here with you, uh, uh, Taurus, okay? This person is realizing that they really messed up here. They really messed up here. Yeah, I feel like this, like I said, I feel like this person's realizing that you are a keeper or that this person's changing their mind. Yeah, this person's changing their mind. They're changing their heart here. What else do we have for Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know? What else does Taurus need to know without floor work? Wow, we had the ton of pentacles that came out again. With the Queen of Wands, Aries, Gil, Sagittarius energy. With the Justice card. Yeah, this person's looking for commitment and marriage here with you. You are noticing that this person's energy ha has shift shifted here. Perhaps you're noticing that this person is more grounded, this person is more clear, uh, this person is more decisive. Maybe this person is articulating it, articulating it in a way that it, you know you're you're starting to understand it. But like I said, I feel like because you've been through so much with this individual here, Taurus, I feel like you guys might not even go for it. Like I said, you know, th these are general readings. Some of you guys might go for it. So, like, apply this to your own unique situation. But, you know, I feel like this person definitely, you know, is coming to a realization that they made some mistakes here or multiple mistakes. And they feel like this person could be kicking themselves in the head here. So, Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.